Hey, JP here. Today, I'm gonna to show you a better way to see a magnetohydrodynamic thruster in action. And it's also gonna be a lot more fun. On our last MHD visualization video, we ran the MHD thruster in water with potassium and food coloring. That was a good start, but that was before we learned about glow-in-the-dark gel blaster balls. More on that in a moment. But why are we messing with magnetohydrodynamics in the first place? We are developing hybrid plasma rocket engines. These are half electric and half chemical. We want to use this engine on our vehicles like the upcoming Ellipse 2, the Transatmospheric Ascender, and ultimately the Orbital Ascender Airship. One aspect of the engine is a magnetohydrodynamic thruster core. Now, magnetohydrodynamics is a giant word for something that's actually pretty simple, getting magnets and current to move stuff. This is one of our MHD units during a test firing. We have the unit instrumented and get a lot of data. And you learn a lot also by looking at the flame. However, what's really happening is happening inside the core. Personally, I find there's nothing like a good visualization to help you understand your system. But you can't see inside. If you try, you're gonna get your face burned off. In our earlier video, we did it with water, potassium, and food coloring to get a slow motion glimpse of the action. Here's what that looked like. Okay, we're at 29.5 volts and a little over six amps and it's really moving. Gonna put a little food coloring in. Say no moving parts, it's just the magnetic field and the current. Now this is pretty good. You can see what's happening and really get a feel for the flow dynamics. But there's a problem. It works great at first, but in less than a minute, the water turns so dark, you can't really see what's going on. This is a combination of the food coloring and the intense corrosion of the copper electrodes. The current and potassium solution just etches off chunks of copper into the water. The copper in the water just adds mass. And in addition to making it hard to see, it slows the whole thing down. We need a better way to do visualization of our MHD experiments. And we found it. Instead of food coloring, we are adding these. They are glow-in-the-dark gel balls. They are made for Nerf-type blasters, like this one. Very Rocky Jones and the Space Rangers. They are made by a company called Gel Blaster. They call them Starfire. This is a box of 10,000, and they end up coming in these packs of 5,000, although there are several other companies that make them as well. They start out as these little seed-like pellets. The first thing you need to do is hydrate them. You just pour a tiny amount into a big cup and then fill it with water. These really expand and it's easy to make way too many. We just need a handful for our test. Now this needs to set for about four hours to soak. Four hours later, and they're ready to go. 
just for fun, let's see what these gels look like in action. Here's an important note. If you're firing Nerf blasters in your lab, your chances of a Nobel Prize tend to drop just a touch. However, if you also happen to have a Star Wars helmet in your lab, you've really walked away from that Nobel dream a while ago. It's seriously time to move on. Now that we've splattered our friendly neighborhood Star Wars Stormtrooper, it's time to put the gels into the MHD thruster core and take a look at the magnetohydrodynamic flow. If you're interested in the glow gel balls for your own experiments or the toy gel blaster just for fun, there is an Amazon link in the description below. We are members of the affiliate program on Amazon, so we get a portion of any sale and it helps keep the program going. Remember, this is just one aspect of the plasma engine. We're combining the MHD core with a hybrid chemical engine, a linear accelerator, and an RF plasma tuner to make the complete engine. Okay, let's assemble the unit. The first thing we're gonna do is put clear tape over the sides of the electrodes, leaving only the ends exposed. This will help cut down on the corrosion caused by the oxidation and help keep the water just a bit cleaner. We've taped two neodymium magnets to the bottom of this Tupperware. We've done it so that the south side will be facing up into the unit during the test. Now we're gonna take the MHD core and place it in the Tupperware we're gonna center it right over the magnets, at least the electrodes right over the magnets. And then we're just going to tape it down with electrical tape. First, we're gonna add some water. Water is gonna act as our plasma for the day. Water is a rather lousy substitute for plasma so we're gonna add some potassium in the form of potassium chloride or new salt into the mix just to give it some more ions. And we're gonna be pretty generous with it. We wanna get it nearly the saturation where it can't actually hold any more potassium in the water. Now for the glow-in-the-dark gel blaster balls. Now we're going to add some power. Up to three volts, four volts, start to see a little motion. 6 volts, 18, 18. OK, now we're running at 30 volts and 6.5 amps. And that is an MHD thruster in action.
water stayed clear significantly longer. But in the end, electrode corrosion won the day. I am pretty happy with the results. This setup really gives us a feel for the MHD enhancements on our engine. But if we want to take it just a bit further, there are some additional mods we could make. First, we could hydrate the gel balls with potassium in the water. This would give the magnets a little more to grab onto and more accurately reflect the rocket exhaust gases. Second, we could put the MHD unit in a long, narrow water container. The balls would just shoot through once instead of having them cycle around and around like on this test. We'd use a lot more of the gel balls, but it would be a more accurate reflection of what was happening in the rocket. And third, we could completely coat the electrodes in plastic dip, except for the ends. This would cut down on the corrosion just a bit more. However, for now, this has taught us a lot and given the team, and hopefully you, some insight about what's going on inside the MHD portion of the rocket engine. A word of caution if you're doing this type of experiment. It's a combination of a lot of electrical current and water that can really hurt you if you're not careful. Think about old stories of getting electrocuted in the bathtub with a toaster, and you'll know what I mean. Just take your time and be safe out there. Be sure to check out our airship video so you can see where we're going to put these engines after we scale them up a bit. The link for that video is in the description below. This is JP. Thank you for watching. Yes! There's an after credit scene. What happens when you run 30 volts and nine amps through Nerf gel blaster rounds? Do they turn into Frankenstein's monster? Nope. They just shrink. JP Aerospace, America's other space program.